Hi, welcome to Muzzle First. So about four days ago, I posted a video about Remington having a rebate offer on handguns, on new purchased handguns from them. Um, so it shouldn't surprise you that I have a new Remington. Um, normally, just for those that don't know, normally when I post stuff like that that's for sale or that that's on a, that's on clearance or an, a rebate or something, by the time that I post it and it goes live, I've normally already taken advantage of it. So uh, probably about ninety percent of the time, I have already purchased whatever I post that's uh, out there. Just just so you know, so I, I don't post a bunch of useless crap out there that I don't think anybody will like. I post something that interests me. So. I did purchase a new Remington, um, and Remington, honestly, Remington does not make a whole lot that interests me, but they do make a 1911. So it shouldn't surprise anybody that I have another 1911. Uh, I did take advantage of their offer. Now, I over, I've already registered online for the rebate, and um, I'm going to cover up the serial number there. Yeah. One of the downsides to Remington's rebate, and I don't know why they do this, is they require you to send in that UPC sticker. So as soon as I'm done with this uh, video, I'm going to cut the sticker out and send it into them. Um, I don't know um, why they require you to carve up the box. This box is, is not a collectible box, but it does increase the value of this firearm if you were going to trade it. Now, I have no intention of trading my firearm. Or selling my firearm, but um, if I was having that chunk of uh, cardboard gone out of the box might detract a little bit from the value. Now we're not talking hundreds of dollars, of course. This is a Remington. It's it's um, you know fairly there. These 1911s, this one here is 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 fairly inexpensive in itself. Um, this 1911 is on sale currently at Grab a Gun for $4.99. Remington is giving you $100 cash back um, rebate. For a 1911, that brings the total cost of this 1911 to 400 bucks. And for 400 bucks, there is no way you can go wrong with a brand new 1911 R1. Um, there's just, I, um, there's, you can't go wrong. Uh, you can't buy some of the, uh, some of the uh, overseas manufactured 1911s for that. Now it is my understanding. I've been told. Remington does not manufacture all these parts in-house themselves, but I, I, it is my understanding that they manufacture the frame and the slide, those pieces themselves. And they, the, the uh, frame and slide on this is carbon steel, so it is a uh, high quality. I don't know how well the finish is going to hold up on, to, on it. It is a black oxide finish. Um, they do advertise a uh, match grade uh, stainless barrel, so you can see the barrel there is... Uh, it's not the black oxide coated, and neither is the bushing. So the uh, bushing is also stainless. Um, it does have a uh, flared ejection port. Um, it comes standard with the uh, three dot sights. So the back dot, the back sight has two uh, two white dots. They are dovetailed, and um, I do believe there are um, replacement sights for that if one so chose. I am going to leave these on here. This is not going to be anything that I. Uh, I have no intention of concealed carrying this, I guess is what I should say. I did order a holster for it. I found a holster on uh, sale from Hughes Holsters. They post uh, they post their items, some of their items on eBay when they have overflow, I guess, or maybe people back out of an order or something. And um, he posted a 1911 leather holster on eBay, and I bought it. I am a stickler for um, leather holsters. I'm not a big fan of Kydex. It shouldn't surprise anybody. Um, that is my preferred uh, format of a gun. Uh, steel and wood and uh, leather holster but um, I don't think that's a uh, new information I don't think I'm telling anybody that's watched my channel for a while anything new um, like I said satin black oxide metal finish the weight on this 38.5 ounces it's a beast it is a solid carbon steel there's a there's not a, there's no polymer in that which is really cool um, Standard seven round capacity. Of course, you can get uh, you can get more magazines for it, more higher capacity magazines for it. Standard five inch barrel, um, eight and a half inch overall length, five and a half inch on the height. Uh, trigger pull they list somewhere between uh, three and a half and five pounds. Um, yeah, it's actually not too bad of a trigger, um, really, in the whole grand scheme of things. Uh, it's not that bad. Of course, I've not had it out and shot it yet. I've not even cleaned it yet. I've not even taken this apart yet. You can see that's all the factory grease. 
um, they um, they sent it wrapped in plastic and they put some kind of a grease in there to protect it. And I've not even disassembled it yet. I just picked it up yesterday from my uh, FFL. And uh, this shipped in 24 hours. It went from Texas, from Grab a Gun in Texas, to my FFL in uh, outside of St. Louis, Missouri in 24 hours. He had it in his shop telling me that it was ready for pickup in 24 hours. That's pretty cool, because normally these are two-day shipping. But um, that's about it. That's all I wanted to show you, my new 1911. Um, the R1 does come in this box. They give you two magazines, standard seven-round capacity, black oxide finish to match the, uh, to match the 1911. They give you the customary lock that I don't know anybody uses. They give you a uh, wrench for the barrel bushing. I, I've used these. These actually work. Um, if you if you're new to 1911s and you are taking them apart, these barrel bushings uh, wrenches they work. Um, they, they they do work. You still have to you still have to hold on to the wrench because there's a lot of force behind that spring when it comes apart, and uh, it will still get away from you. But uh, they work. And let's see. They give you a card. They give you a sticker. And the magazine, and the uh, the manual. I keep wanting to call this a magazine. This is something that's really cool in the in the manual. Um, they give you the ten commandments of uh, the ten, ten commandments of firearm safety. Um, something else. If you are new to firearms and you buy a new Remington, please read these. Uh, read these ten commandments. Um, it's going to do nothing but um, show you some of the basics of what you need to to do to be safe with your firearm. Of course, they tell you about uh, using, uh, you know, ammunition. They're going to tell you not to use any reloaded stuff. And that can use any plus P, all that stuff. But uh, anyway, Ten Commandments in it. Um, diagram of uh, the uh, um, different parts of the 1911 on the outside, that, that you, that what they're referred to in the industry. Those were, and, and in the, inside this manual. Um, if you're new to 1911s, that would be really good for you to read. But um, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. It's my new 1911. I should have range video of this um, probably sometime next week. That's been Muzzle First. If you've got any questions, you can send me an email at muzzlefirst at gmail.com. Visit my website, www.muzzlefirst.com. There's always a space below this video where you can leave your comments, your questions, suggestions, whatever. Um, I do try and answer every um, comment on my videos. Um, I get, I get low enough views on my videos that I can generally do that and keep up with that. I do have a couple videos that have gotten um, out of hand and I can't really keep up with the, the replies on them, but um, I do a fairly decent job of keeping up with the replies, so I will answer anything on these videos if you've got a question or whatever. Um, just let me know. Thank you and you have a good day.